In this video, we're going to be using Saponificio Veracino Opuntia and the leaf for a dome shave. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And today's shave is brought to you by Zach Likes to Shave on YouTube, uh, a buddy of mine, longtime uh, shaving buddy, and he sent me this uh, Saponificio Veracino Opuntia. Uh, which is a really nice smelling soap. Clean, fresh, somewhat maybe Creed Aventus-like, but not exactly. Really nice scent uh, on the soap. It is a pricey soap, so shop around in order to get the best price on this soap. I saw it at Maggard's for $49. Uh, I saw it at the Razor Company for $38.99, but they were sold out. And then I looked at West Coast Shaving and it was $45.60. So this is one of those soaps where you're going to want to shop around for the best price. It is a pricey soap. Um, it's 5.29 ounces and it runs, you know, between $40 to $50. So it's expensive, but it is a very hard soap. So you're probably going to get uh, more out of that soap. So my chart doesn't really apply to soaps like this. We'll show you the ingredients right there. And that is a long list of ingredients. It takes up the entire page, but I've always enjoyed Saponificio Veracino soaps out of Italy. They make a really fine soap. And today we're going to be using the leaf once again. And of course we have the rubber grip uh, on it. And I've really been enjoying the leaf with two blades. So that's what we're going to use today. So let's go ahead and wet the dome. And this is just plain water. In the event that you are curious about it, just applying a little bit of water there. And today we're using the AP Shave Co. I call this the White Wizard Brush, 30 millimeter knot. Captain's Choice Bowl. Had no problems uh, working up a pretty nice lather here with the Sponificio Veracino Apuntia. And thanks again to Zach from Zach Likes to Shave. And we'll have a nice relaxing head shave today. I'm recording these well in advance, so it might be a week or two before this airs. Because I usually uh, air about, you know, maybe two head shaves uh, per week, something like that. And so it might be a piece down the road before this one airs. So thank you, Zach, whenever I air it. And I may even do a head sh uh, face shave with it again before I air this one, you never know. But I certainly want to thank Zach. And uh, Zach, as I've said in the last video when we used the uh, SV soap, he takes a very academic approach to shaving, really studying. Uh, he's not one of those people that likes to use different stuff every day. He likes to really use something, dial it in, so to speak, and really figure out how to get the most out of the things that he uses. Now, me, I'm more of a variety shaver. I like to try a little bit of everything and just sort of enjoy a little bit of everything. But some people really like to maximize um, their products and use them a lot and get the most out of them. And that is a very good approach uh, to take. Honestly, the approach that brings you joy and gives you great shaves is, is the great approach. So do it however you like, as long as you're enjoying it. But I know Zach is one of those people that he really likes to use something a lot. And Saponificio Veracino is one of his favorite soaps. And honestly, it used to be one of mine too. But for some reason, years ago, I got rid of them. I regret getting rid of them because they're very good soaps. They lather easily, but they are expensive. That's really the only drawback as I see with the SV soaps. They're a little bit pricey. But otherwise, I think a very good quality soap out of... Again, Italy. The Italians know how to make shaving soap. I'll tell you that right now. And I have, uh, I've used SV soup, <laughs> not SV soups, SV soaps uh, many times over the years. Just not a ton recently, but I have acquired a couple. And thanks to Zach, he kind of inspired me to come back to them and, and give them a look. Because he's been using them for years, like regularly. And I figure... He's a guy who's used them enough to know whether or not they're really good soaps or they warrant the price they command. And I'm inclined to believe that as much as he's used them, if he says they're they're worth you know the money, then uh, I tend to believe you know what he's saying. Now that said, that's a subjective thing. What things are worth and you know, you know the value you get out of them. But for him, they're a daily driving kind of soap. And uh, he gets excellent shaves out of him day in, day out. And he's been doing this for a long time, too. So he didn't just step into it last year or, you know, last week. And so I, I certainly 
think that this is one of these hobbies where everyone can uh, participate and um, I think it's perfectly uh, fine and it's good to share your opinion even when you're new and don't have a ton of experience. But on the other hand, I also like to watch and listen to folks who have a lot of experience um, with certain products. And so Zach, I would consider to be sort of an aficionado of Saponificio Veracino soaps. And uh, he gets excellent results for them, from them, excuse me. I'm tongue twisted. I've been tongue twisted a lot lately. <laughs> I'm sorry. But anyway, he, uh, he achieves really excellent results and uh, uses them a lot. And he doesn't jump around trying new stuff all the time. So, you know, he, uh, he takes a product and gets the most out of it. And honestly, that is an approach that um, if a lot of us did that, we would probably learn how to use things to their maximum potential. And I often don't do that because I'm switching around so much. That said, through all that switching, you, you also develop a pretty deep catalog of, you know, scents and things and sort of how they perform. But in order to get the most out of things, really the only way to, to know is to continue to use them and gain experience with them. And so um, in that regard, a guy like Zach is gonna be a much, a much better source uh, for, of information on um, products like Saponificio of Arsino soaps than I will. But I can certainly use them and tell you whether or not they lend themselves or whether this type of soap lends itself to a great shave. And I will say based on my previous ex experience, yes they do. They are definitely a good quality soap. Now, I know a lot of times when we use products like this, people who are more budget oriented, you know, they don't like it. They think it's too much to pay for soap. And that is absolutely fair. But on the other hand, um, you know, there's a lot of people who use these type of soaps and they really feel that they get more out of them. And I'm not one of those people that deny their experience. You know what I mean? So. I'm not gonna say to Zach, oh no, you know, it's in your head. This soap really isn't that good. Um, I'm not that type of person. The only thing I can do is tell you what I get out of this soap. And it is a very good performing soap in my opinion. So take that for what it's worth. Plenty of residual slickness here. What I'm trying to do is get some of those spots a little bit. I'm trying to cheat a little bit like uh, uh, Jimmy from NYC Wet Shaving likes to say. And by the way, I want to thank our Greek viewers because I've noticed we've gotten a lot of Greek viewers and I don't speak a lick of Greek, so I'm sorry, <laughs> gents, but I appreciate you uh, being here and I'm sure a lot of you came over from uh, Jimmy, so thank you. And that was an excellent first pass. And so for those of you who um, have access to Saponificio, Saponificio Veracino uh, in Europe and elsewhere, you know, I realize you might not have art, um, access to all the artisanal offerings that we have here in America, but there are some great soaps that can be had like this one, which is very good. And I put, as you can see, I got a lot of sample left in this bowl. So I'll probably just scoop that out after the shave and save it for another shave because there's no sense in wasting it. A little bit of this goes a pretty long way. And so that also sort of, that's the reason I didn't show the price chart because it just doesn't apply to this sort of soap. Where this soap falls, in terms of value per ounce, I just cannot say because it's hard. And if you take one of the really, really soft artisanal offerings from America, you know, when you load with that soap, you gotta use a bit of product and you use it up rather quickly, especially if you're loading, you know, out of the tub. And so you can burn through one of those pretty quickly. A soap like this, that's quite a bit harder. It could take you quite a bit longer to, to use. So you have, sort of have to try to factor that into the value equation. And I don't use these soaps enough to know the longevity. You know, I know roughly what the longevity of a lot of the very, very soft artisanal offerings are. And you can just tell how much you scoop out, you know, to use. But on these, a little bit of soap goes a long way. So you're gonna get more value. So that upfront cost is higher, but you may very well get more, um, uh, this soap. So when Zach sees this video, and I hope you watch this video, Zach, 
I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts on the value of these sort of soaps relative to how hard they are and how long they're likely to last. And you've used these soaps enough to know how they hold up. I know there are guys, uh, I remember David telling me, So Sharp David, that guys used to come to Old Town Shaving, which is no longer open, but it was a brick and mortar there in California, Pasadena, I believe. And uh, they'd buy like one jar of Martin de Condra per year and use that and that soap the entire year. And that was about a 65 to $70 soap, but they used it every day for a year. That's how much they could get out of it. So there's no telling how many shaves you could get out of this soap. So I think it is fair to consider that in the value sort of realm is if it's harder, if it yields more per ounce than my cost chart, which is primarily geared for soft artisanal, artisanal offerings, really doesn't apply quite as much. So just keep that in mind because I always want to be fair. And that is something that's quite important to me. And uh, I tell you what, the leaf with the two blades has, has been treating me well. So I've really been enjoying this. And I like using the leaf. It's my daily driver for head shaving. I head shave every two days. I uh, used to do it every day. For the first three years, I did it seven days a week. And then I realized that by skipping a day, the shaves felt just a little bit more comfortable. So I switched to uh, every other day. And for me, that uh, improved the shaves. You know, I had a little more growth, so just made the shaves feel a little bit better. And so that, that is my uh, routine. Head shave every other day. But I must say, this, this soap uh, smells great, but please, please um, shop around and see if you can find the best price because the price varies wildly on this. Like I said, $49 at Maggard's. The last uh, time the razor company had it, it was $38.99, which is quite a difference. Um, West Coast had it for $45.60. So shop around on this one and maybe you'll find a great price. But uh, I like the scent. And yes, would I... Uh, when I'm in the uh, market for a Saponificio Veracino soap, another one, might I consider this one based on scent? Yes. And the quality is there. Um, it is a good quality soap. They've been making soaps for a long time at Saponificio Veracino. So you'll find bar soaps occasionally. Um, I think I went to TJ Maxx or Marshalls and I saw a Saponificio Veracino bar soap, a big old bar soap there. So they've been in the soap business for a long time. And I do think the Italians are are very good at making soaps. And just because I haven't used them in recent years doesn't mean they aren't good. Just I go through spells where for some reason I'll just get rid of things. <laughs> I'll have buyer's remorse and go, oh, you know, I spent too much on that. You know, and then uh, I come back and use them later and like, oh boy, that was good. You know, and so that's sort of where I am with SV. And I got to thank once again, Zach, for sort of enabling me on this one because uh, I was talking to him about SV and uh, he sold me his uh, Felce Aromatica, which is fantastic, fantastic. And then he put the sample in there, which was quite a good good size sample. And given how, how many shaves um, this soap yields, it was enough for quite a few shaves. So thank you, Zach. Once again, and now let's uh, do a little touching up. And the way I do that is, see the, the brush here has a quite a bit of lather left over. We're just gonna feel around for those difficult spots, which right there is one of my toughest spots. And I think it is for Jimmy too. And I really have to work hard to get that spot. Also, shout outs, because I know there's head shavers who routinely uh, wash those head shaved to uh, my buddy Mateo, Mateo from Italy, by the way. Sorry for butchering your name, Matteo. And uh, and Arthur? Arthur only watches the head shapes, I think. So, Arthur, I hope you enjoy this one. Some people are only interested in the head shapes. Some viewers don't watch any of them at all. Some watch both. You people that watch both are the MVPs. <laughs> thank you very much. Very nice. And I thank you all for your comments. I really appreciate it. I read them all. And I was, I've been mentioning lately, I need to do some work over here. Um, for some reason, YouTube occasionally, 
I'll get comments, uh, you know, I'll get an uh, email alert for comments. And when I'm going through them, the comment is no longer there. And, and there's nothing that's been said inappropriate or anything. And they're just gone. So if I ever don't respond to your comment, it could be. Because for some reason, it's just been deleted. And I do check the spam areas and held for review areas, but they're not there. So please just keep that in mind. I do try to uh, read every comment and at least drop a short response on it. There are a lot of comments and I make a lot of videos, so I don't have time to, you know, a lot of times uh, respond in great depth, but I do make an effort always to do so. And I thank you for your comments. It means a lot to me. All right, very nice. Very nice, we're just trying to, that area right there is just extremely tough to get. Let me see, let's work on that a little bit. And I think we're about ready to call this one a shave. It has been very nice. All right, let me rinse the dome. We'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back. And this is Thayer's Witch Hazel Magic, because it's made by witches. Really nice stuff that I use every single day. And that was a very nice head shave. Thank you very much, Zach, from Zach Likes to Shave with the Apuntia sample from Saponificio Veracino. Very good soap. I liked it a lot. Our brush day, AP Shave Co. I call it the White Wizard 30 millimeter cashmere knot. Our razor, of course, with, is the Leaf Razor with two half Astra SP blades. And we're gonna finish it off today with a, another Italian product. This is a Razor Rock uh, Irish Countryside. Doesn't smell anything like a Puntia. I'm just sort of trying to finish the bottle, so figured I would use it today. And I wanna thank all of you for joining me once again. I really appreciate it. This has been a wonderfully pleasant head shave, and I hope wherever you are, you're having great shaves as well. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.